Hiker Jay here. This week I'm building a shelf on my tailgate. I've been working on my kitchen quite a bit, but it's time to actually build this shelf. I'm going with a small shelf that fits in really nicely into the tailgate. I'm going to walk you through all the steps as well, and I'm going to use a piano hinge. I'm going to keep it really, really simple and cost effective. All the links to the products are down below in my description, just like usual. And if this is the first time on my channel, if you could hit subscribe, like, and hit that bell for new notifications so you can be notified every time I put out a new video every Thursday. Now for this build, I'm keeping it very simple. I've got my board here that I have stained and clear coated and it is 24 inches by eight inches. I did not go super deep because I don't want to put a ton of weight on my tailgate. I already have the kitchen set up for the stove. So this is really just for like cups and plates and different things to sit on. Then I've got the old piano hinge. Now this piano hinge is a 30 inch piano hinge. So I'm gonna have to cut it down, obviously just using a hacksaw and cut that down. I wanted to get one in black, but I could really only find silver and gold. So I think this one's gonna work just fine. The most critical piece to this build are these little doohickeys. Now these slide right into the little levers or cut-ins that are on the back of the tailgate. Now, um, these were pretty hard to find. I'll put a link down below to where I got those. They're not on my Amazon affiliate. They were straight from a store that um, builds shelves like this that you can purchase, but this will go right in and then the screws will go into the plastic and it'll hold tight there. This is what the piano hinge is gonna screw right to when I put it on the back of the door. Then I've got these magnets. Now I'm gonna use one of these magnets. It says, what does it say? It's pretty funny. It says uh, super powerful nandinium uh, ma cup magnets. Uh, so they're super powerful. They are, they're crazy powerful. I'm gonna have to figure out how I want to put it on so that they come off okay. But I liked that it had this recessed spot right here. This is the actual magnet side. And I really like that it was recessed because I want to use a regular old knob on the other side. So I'll use the bolt on this side um, right to the knob. And that way I can just kind of pull it down real easy. Hopefully that's the idea that I can just pull it down real easy when I want to use it and then slap it back up with the magnet. And then the piece that's not showed here is a cord that I'm going to use um, to have it hanging from there. I'm not sure if I'm going to use cable yet. I think I might just use like jump cord, nylon jump cord, because I don't want to put a lot of weight onto it. But when we get there, I'll show you how I'm going to snap off that plastic piece at the top of the tailgate and drill a little hole and put that through. So um, these are the parts. And again, like I said, all the products are linked down below in the description. So let's get to building. Now to do this build, first thing I had to do was have a board. And I basically went 24 inches by eight inches here and I stained it black and then sealed it as well. I sealed it a little more on the top where I know that spills and things are gonna happen. Then what I did was I had the board all cut and ready to go. I had to actually cut the piano hinge. They only came in size 30 inches. So I cut that down to just under 24 so that it wouldn't be over the edge and it would fit really nicely. Then came the fasteners. Now these little black fasteners that I found and I put the link down below. So those plastic fasteners were a bit of a bugger to put in. What I did was I had to put a screwdriver in the middle and kind of open them up so that they wouldn't just pop all the way through. And once they went in, they, they held a little better. I still had some trouble with those fasteners. So what I did was I took some double stick foamy type tape and I taped them out, spacing them to where I wanted to hit the piano hinge, aligning it up with this side here. And then once I was able to do that, I was able to line up the uh, piano hinge and actually screw them in. Now I used a regular screwdriver. I did not use a driver because a driver I was worried would strip out the plastic. And I found once I screwed them in by hand, they really held nicely. I mean, this is, this is definitely, definitely on there. And then I had to secure the board. So I went ahead and screwed the board in on two ends. And I did pre-drill into this board because this is only a quarter, I mean a half inch. So it's not super thick, but the screws that came with the piano hinge worked beautifully. And I pre-drilled them. I did one on one end, one on the other end, and that kind of set the board where it needed to be. And then I could go through and pre-drill all the rest of them and then screw them in by hand as well. So once I had the hinge done, I had to figure out what type of cable system I was gonna use to anchor it. And I knew I wanted to use jump cord. I could use cable, but I was worried about it rattling and making noise. So I just liked the idea of the jump cord um, being there. The And so what I did was I, I, prop, I pried off this back trim area. And the way you do that is you lift from the bottom and you snap it all the way out. And then it kind of latches in at the top with these pla plastic type 
hinges here. Now you can tell they have these metal little latches that snap in and they work out great. All I did was tie it into the existing holes that were there. Obviously I don't want to cut into any metal frame. Um, I'm going to cut into the actual trim, the plastic trim, but the metal frame, I don't want to do that with rust and such. So tied it in there, melted it all together and anchored it. The next thing was to figure out where on the trim the cord would be coming down. So I kind of put the cord where I want it on this point of the shelf and then um, marked it on one side and marked it from the top, found out where they connected and drilled them. I did sort of drill this as a sort of angle right here um, so that it would come out and not rub and that seems to have worked out real nicely. The next step was to simply just drill a hole at this back corner and pull the jump cord through and then I knotted it, worked on what height I wanted. I went a little higher when it wasn't at um, pressure so that when stuff was on it, it would actually be at level and that, and that seems to work pretty good. Now, by doing this, I can tell that it's flexible because it's just the jump cord, but I'm okay with that. I don't want people putting a ton of weight on this and I might actually put a second jump cord on the left side of it, which will help quite a bit as well. The last part was to actually put the Daninum, Daninum, whatever magnet on here, and this sucker is hardcore. You can check the link down below in my uh, description to my Amazon affiliate. But this thing will hold, no problem. I was worried about having a magnet that wasn't going to hold well enough and the shelf would bounce down while I was driving. Now it has a recess spot in it here, so I was able to put your normal cabinet type of bolt through it. And as you can see, I just sort of drilled it out and put the cabinet bolt. Now I used this handle because I thought it would be hard to pull out but not thinking that the magnet had distance so I can just really just grab the shelf and pop it down like that. So I'm probably gonna eliminate the handle um, because I don't think I really really need it so um, I can just pop it down like so. But there's no way that this is gonna jiggle down while driving. It's gonna stay put and not rattle. And that's that's why I really went with the jump cord because if I had a cable or something, it would rattle around. I thought about using cabling and then putting jump cord um, sheathing around it. So I still, I still might do that. Um, I'm really not sure yet, but I'm quite happy with the way that this has turned out and the way that it tucks away. And you can see when I close it up and close it into the back of the Jeep, it does not hit the actual Jeep kitchen or anything shuts real flush and real nice and, and doesn't doesn't jam up even with the handle there. The real purpose of this shelf is not to be serve as a full kitchen. It's something that I pop down, I put mugs on, I put glasses on, I put a pop on, but I can also put my backpacking stove on here and cook up something quickly. And I think it serves that purpose really well. Because I've got the full kitchen in the actual back of the Jeep, I don't want this to turn into that. So it's really just a place to store a mug of water or to cook something really quick. What do you think of this build? I might get rid of some things, like should I put another strap here? Put in the comments down below, do you think I should put those in? I might get rid of the knob. I, it's not really necessary now that it opens up so easily, but this really only took me about an hour, hour and a half to build, and it cost well, less than $25. Is this something that you would build? Let me know. Till next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy, and build stuff. Do some DIY stuff, it's pretty fun. I'm gonna love this shelf. It's gonna get a lot of use.